Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can invite your students to Google Classroom and how they can join your Google Classroom classrooms. So you can see on my screen here, I have a sample class I've created. I'm calling it my dog training class. And I'm signed in using Gmail. Now I'm using a Gmail-based Google Classroom which means in this case, anyone who wants to join my class will also need to be signed in using a Gmail-based Google account, not a Google Suite for Education account. So you need to make sure that people are trying to sign into your class are signed in actually using a Gmail account. So I've set up my class and I want to invite my students now. I can do it in a couple of ways. So I can invite students by entering an email address so you do something like you know, max at gmail.com. So you do it that way. Or I can invite students by having them use a class code. And we can see the class code is right there. It's also up here. Now, for some reason, you need to reset your class code. Uh, just click the reset button. And now you have a new class code. Now, you might reset your class code because you uh, have broadcast it to the entire internet and you don't want to do that anymore so you change the class code or you may change the class code because uh, some of the letters get confused with numbers and kids are having trouble signing in because they're having some confusion between a O and a zero for example. Right, so now my student can join this class using this class code by going to his or her own Google account so in this case here, we're looking at uh, an account that I set up. It's called morrisonsdad at gmail.com. And it goes to classroom.google.com. You can see it's signed in in the upper right-hand corner with morrisonsdad at gmail.com. Okay. Continue. Okay. Now in the upper right-hand corner, we'll select join class. Put in the class code and join. Okay. And now that person is into the class as the teacher. I'll see that that person has now joined the class as well. And then of course I can do all the things that I would do in Google Classroom including posting assignments, announcements, and reminders. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out Free Tech for teachers.com and practicaledtech.com.